welcome to another edition of the What's Poppin' Podcast. Hi, Miami Tip. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> What's poppin', baby? Exactly. You already know. Okay. First things first. Let's tell everyone why you're in the DMV today. Well, I'm in the DMV because I'm at Sip Lounge tonight with the Royal Family. Right. ENT. Shout out to Money Mel. Polo the, the guy. The god. Smiley. You know, they got me out here trying to bring some heat. Good job. See you, you know? Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Okay, so let's back things up a little bit. So we, of course, a lot of people got to really know you this year on Love and Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. How did that come about? I mean, I'm that bitch in Miami. Indeed, I'm bitch curse. Miami. Yes, oh, okay. it's all good. Yeah. I mean, I'm that bitch in Miami. It Tell them. You know, I don't think it could have been possible without Tip Drew in Miami Tip. You know? Okay, fantastic. So Tom and I were talking earlier, and one of the things that I thought was so dope about you in the show is that you really seemed like a real one. I am. And we really appreciate that. And right. even when, when situations happened with you and Bobby, you were like, yeah, I'm not coming for Trina. I'm not going we're not gonna do that. Yeah. But you checked him. And I appreciate that. Not on shade to him, but just in general, like, I appreciate that you rep for those that you rep for. Right. I, just, I mean, I was just letting him know it's a grind out here. It's a process. And we can't be messing our faces up, you know what I'm saying? Just because you're mad and it's not going your way right now. I right. don't think, I. everybody was saying that I was checking him, but I, I wasn't checking him. I was just, from a friend to a friend, I know how this goes. Mm-hmm. So that's okay. how I was letting him know. So how are things going with the music? The music is going great. I am definitely about to put out a single now. Come, okay. It's coming soon. I don't have an exact date yet, but I'm definitely working. So what is your process when you're coming up with new music? How do you, like, do you think of the, the hook first or the, you know, how, what's your process? Well, you know, of course we got to go with the beat first. And then mm-hmm. depending on the beat and who's in the studio and who's around and what's going on and what I've been through, I just write about it. Okay. So I have ADHD. I probably should have told you that from the beginning. So I'm going to jump all over the place. But um, one of the other things that I thought was dope is um, I saw some interview where you were talking about your ethnicity. Mm -hmm. So for those that don't know, can you tell people what you are? What? I hate when people say that. I'm sorry. What your ethnicity is. Right. I used to lie and say I was trying, like in middle school and high school, I used to lie and be like, I'm Chinese Jamaican. But Bye-bye. because everybody says that I look Chinese or Asian or whatever, but I'm really just Puerto Rican and black. I'm basic. Me too. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, it's, I'm it's Puerto Rican and basic. black too. We're <laughs> fabulous. We are far from basic. Like when I when I say people be like, Are you Asian? I'm like, No, I'm Puerto Rican and black. They go, like, Oh. Oh, okay. It's regular. <laughs> Whatever. Then I can't speak Spanish, so it just makes it even worse. So join the club. My which one is which? <laughs> My mom is Puerto my dad is black. Exactly the same. Okay, so um, I wanted to kind of start this segment. You got me thinking about it. Um, called mixed like me, mm-hmm. right? And so, what was your experience growing up as? Because you're originally from New York. Mm-hmm. So what? And it's a little. I think it's a little bit different in New York. I'm from Jersey originally, and I think up top it's a little more normal to be Puerto Rican and black because mm-hmm. there's just so much right. of that. But here, everyone kind of acts like, oh, you're that. Like that's in different. DC? Mm-hmm. Just kind of in general, outside uh-huh, of the uh-huh, tri-state, uh-huh, right? Right, right? So have you had any instances where people have felt like you weren't black enough or you weren't Puerto Rican enough? Um, the Puerto, the, I'm not Puerto Rican enough because I, I don't speak Spanish. Speak Spanish. Mm-hmm. And I live in Miami where it's like everyone speaks Spanish and then I have that look where you don't know what the hell I am. So everywhere I go, people just automatically speak Spanish. I'm like, I'm black, I don't speak Spanish. And they be like, oh, <laughs> like, why? So, I mean, I get that I'm not... Spanish enough, mm-hmm. but it's all good. I mean, I but I do feel like I'm mad that I didn't learn Spanish. Like, did your mom not t- purposely not teach it to you? Well, or? she was raised around my dad's family from when she was like 13, so she didn't have to speak Spanish. So okay, to raise us around that, she didn't have to speak it. Okay, so my mom's like her Spanish is bad too. I oh, mean, she okay. speaks Spanish, but it's kind of broken. Yeah. Like Spanglish? Right. Gotcha. Exactly. Yeah, so my mother, when she was growing, when she came to the States, because she came from Puerto Rico, but I think she was a little bit, like, she hated the fact that she had an accent, and she didn't want us to have an accent, mm. and that was kind of the thought process. They so. kind of messed us up. Man. I know. I know. I mean, I know a little bit now, but literally, looking like this, people automatically, like, I, I automatically and I'm like, okay. like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look just straight up like me. It's like, we don't know. She might be black. We don't know, but you. So I'm on the other spectrum, because people always question question my blackness mm-hmm. like because they just assume that I'm all Spanish and right. I'll drop the n-word like it's nobody's business because I am one right and um, people are like, <laughs> like are you are you is that okay so which is which English. my mother's Puerto Rican and my father's black oh, okay so the same thing exactly okay. yeah, yeah so yeah. you're not like Veronica where it's like your great granddad or mom they're African no I'm not <laughs> <laughs> and I saw that episode and I was like mm, 
sis, you might be reaching. Look for real. Just, like, you all the way, you don't even look tan a little bit. But I get it. Like, so I have a lot of family in Florida, right? And um, and not far from Hialeah. And I get it. You know what I mean? I understand the culture. I get it. But, no. yeah. No. That's probably not the argument you want to make. I'm just, <laughs> At I'm all. just saying. And see you. All right. So um, now is this a stepping stone? Obviously, you're doing this to pop off your music career. But what else would you like to see yourself doing? I mean, I'm a very talented, outgoing, smart, sexy, beautiful individual. Indeed, no, you no, are. No, no. <laughs> Fat. I could do anything. But like, I, re I like, I have a book. I wrote a book. It's called The Bottom Line. So I want to write more books. Um, I'm really good at acting. That's why, like, all my music videos, I do a lot of acting. Okay. Um, I have a podcast also that okay. I do in Miami. I'm with anything. Anything that make me some money, I'm Hello, I'm all about the coin. But tell me about this book. <laughs> the book, The Bottom Line, is available on Amazon. Um, it's basically, it's an anthology, so it has different stories of different dancers, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. some dancers are pushed into the game. Some dancers come from a, a rich family and they just do it just to do really? it. So it just shows different, you know, mindsets of different dancers. Really, really dope. But at the end of the day, the money is the bottom line. So that's why I call it the bottom line. Oh, huh, that makes sense. Yes. Okay. And it's you... really, really good. I'm not just saying that because I wrote because it. Because you wrote it. Right, right. <laughs> Touche. Um, now, what other kind of books would you like to get into? Like fiction or? Well, I definitely want to do like books on my mom's life my aunt's life and my life just so but I want to do my mom first and my aunt then me so people see why I am the way that I am because we all have a crazy story like we just look like everything was given to us but like it's crazy my mom's like a beautiful woman but to hear her story is like hmm. crazy so I want to write about it mm -hmm. okay I'm here for that so I have a somewhat personal but like not inappropriate question <laughs> so um as a former dancer, mm -hmm. like you're obviously a thickums, like in the most like non disrespectful <laughs> way, right? Thank you. But did you always have um, such confidence, like growing up? Did you always love your body the way that you do now? Um, yes. Really? I, I I always knew that I was different. I always knew that I had personality. I was always a class clown. I was always a leader. Um, as for my body and my looks, like I never strive to be like the prettiest. But I was, I'm, I'm a tomboy. Like I rather wear sneakers. I don't like to wear heels. As evidenced by right, what's yeah, going on. Yeah. Like going, I could go out with ten bad bitches. They in heels. They got all this boutique shit on. The shiny. They breast done. They, you know what I'm saying? I'll be the one in sneakers. Mm -hmm. um, You're so, literally me, but it's all good. Basically, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I never had a problem like with myself or my identity or anything like that. So coming from such a place of strength, how can you or what would you suggest to a woman that is struggling with their body image? I'd say fuck everybody. Like we there's like we are all stars in our own way. You just got to find, you know how they say you're a million you're a millionaire in your mind, you just got to find. You have a million dollars in your mind, you just have to find a way to get it out. That's what that is. Like I don't I don't I don't like women who are so like thinking about what other people are saying or think that they should change like Fuck all this shit. We don't, we don't have time for that. There's money on here to get. You know what I'm saying? Facts. 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 Worried about the wrong thing. Indeed. So uh, let, tell me about this podcast. What's that about? The podcast is called Tipsy Tuesdays. It's with me and Baby Blue, and we do it every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Um, it's just like lately we've been doing all the Love and Hip Hop Miami Makes um, recaps or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we've been having all the Love and Hip Hop Miami cast come in. And then soon we're just going to start doing, you know, other artists and people in the entertainment industry. But it's definitely really extremely funny. And it's on Strong On Live FM every Tuesday. Okay. Sounds yes. good. Yes. All right. So tell everyone uh, where you're going to be tonight again. Tonight I am at Sip Lounge with Money Mel. Polo to God, Smiley, okay, shout out to Royal Family, Pat ENT, we in the building, we turning up, okay, I need all the sexy ladies and all the niggas with money Hello. in the building with me. Mm -hmm. I, always, I know y'all probably like, this girl love money, but I do. Listen, I love that you're honest about it. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Because yes. I can't pay my bills with air. Exactly, and rent is due. Hello. <laughs> Seriously, like it's a real thing. Sip lounge tonight, though. Okay, so um, how can everybody find you on social media? Everything is Miami Tip 305. Everything. And Everything. when's the single coming out? I don't have an exact date, but it's definitely within the next month. Oh, that soon? Yes. Okay, yes. so we're like finished, finished. Yes. Okay, yes. I am here for that. And when are you planning to shoot the video? Uh, as soon as, I don't know. Might be right after, I don't know. Okay. I, mean, I might not even shoot a video, it's just going to be, I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to need you to shoot a video. 
Just saying. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna shoot a video up on my iPhone. Okay, that's do it. cheaper. Listen, <laughs> the way they make these now, you absolutely can. For it's a real, real thing. Beyonce did it. I can do it. Color and save some coin <laughs> exactly. in the process. Indeed. So um, make sure that when you the, when the single does come out that you get it to us so that DC can support you. Yes, ma'am. We I can get you. it on the airways. And um, is there anything you'd like to share with the people at DMV? Um, I love you all. And to God be the glory. And there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Miami Tip, for joining us. Thanks, guys, for tuning in for another edition of the What's Poppin' Podcast, only on 93.9 WKYS.